G'day folks, Steve here, and I have to say I am pretty excited. This is the first time that I've opened up the channel to new voice talent, who I don't personally know, and we've got a huge crop of folks. We've got a top six of folks who are pretty darn good. So good, in fact, that I want to open it up for another round. So I'm going to give some notes. A very important part of professional performing is note taking. For those of you who are looking to enter the industry at some point, Usually during auditions, you'll be given some notes, not because you've done something wrong, but because they want to see how well you can take notes and act on them. And give everyone the same piece to record. Ooh. I want to make some special mentions though. Uh, these are folks who have talent, but for one reason or another didn't show what we needed for this job in particular. Some should start their own channels because they are fine narrators, but that job is taken on my channel. What do you want, my job? <laughs> well, you can pry it from my cold, dead voice box. And others have skill sets more suited to radio or TV voice work rather than narrative stuff. So, the first special mention is Francisco W. A great voice for radio, which is better than my first voice review, which was that I had a great face for radio. This really happened. Second special mention is Dan L. A lot of potential here. Keep practicing and I hope to hear from you with a little more time under your belt. Seriously, I don't say these things just to say them. You have potential. You just need some practice and experience. And finally, Andrew B. I want to hear you narrating documentaries and working on radio and introducing award ceremonies, preferably where I'm winning huge awards and massive checks with queues of groupies lined up around the block. <laughs> Audiobook readers get groupies, right? Right? And now, on to our top six. It was going to be a top five, but you folks are just too good. So, in sixth place, Dustin Hendrick. In fifth, Amanda Newman. Fourth place, James R. Marsh III. In third, Justin Thomas. In second place, and winner of the most startling accent that goes with the name, Dominique Geloso. I'm sorry if I'm asking your name. And in first place, Kyra Jones. Thanks to everyone else who entered, keep it up. I can't count the number of things that I lost in my early years, so don't let this little disappointment stop you from doing something if you really want to do it. Also, there will be future competitions open to patrons and YouTube members, so sign up and keep your eyes open. $12 a year, come on, you can afford that. And if we all signed up for that, then I could afford to hire studios all over the world for these amazingly talented people. These six finalists will soon get an email from us with the new script and some performance notes. Good luck, and may the muses be with you.